I'd like to share about one more thing, uh, and this is not an axiom really. It's called an axiom even though it's a theorem. Uh, it is an interesting result, uh, and so something that we should play around with since we're upper division mathematicians now. Uh, we're going to let A, B, and C be non-collinear. For every point D on segment BC, there is an angle, CAD, and a distance from C to D. We're going to let little d equal the distance from B to C. The ruler placement postulate gives a bijection from the points on line BC to the set of real numbers from 0 to D such that C corresponds to 0 and B corresponds to D. Let capital D sub X correspond to X so that the distance from C to D sub X is X. Picture. So we let little d be the distance from B to C and we let little d sub X be the, be the point that corresponds to X. So there's, there's where CD is a small x, uh, there's where CD is almost BC, we got that running there. Define the function f, where the domain is the numbers from 0 to d, and the range is the set of numbers from 0 to the measure of angle CAB, f of x is the measure of angle CAD sub x. So here the input is 1.44, and the output is 7.15. Here the input is 4.89 and the output is 28.65. Here the input is 8.36 and the output is 52.59. This function is continuous and so is its inverse. So I want to point out a couple of things about that. Uh, so when we plot the function in the xy plane, um, these are distances and these are angle measures. The domain is a set of distances and the range is a set of angle measures. The function is continuous. Um, uh, we can argue a couple of things about this. Uh, the function f is increasing. As, as you increase the input, you increase the output. Uh, that comes from betweenness of rays. Uh, that sort of makes sense to us. We should also say that f is on 2. You pick any angle measure less than angle CAB's measure. Uh, so angle CAB is like 64. So you pick any number that's less than 64, like, like 52, and there is an angle that corresponds. There's an angle at 52 degrees, that's true, and that corresponds to a distance CD. And so on for any angle measure that you like. Uh, and that's because of the crossbar theorem. So we're okay there too. So... Uh, I'll leave it to your author in the textbook to talk about the nuts and bolts of why the function is continuous. Uh, that's where we touch on analysis a little bit. Uh, but it's not hard to understand that if the function is continuous, its inverse must be, because if I've talked about a function that's strictly increasing, that means the function is one-to-one. -one. And if I've talked about a function that's onto, now we have a one-to-one -one onto function that's a bijection. And if the function is continuous, its inverse must also be, because that's how bijections work. So that's a pretty neat theorem to play around with. Uh, and it it's the first time in our course that we touch on analysis. Okay, thanks.